Hi, I'm Dr. Morna Foy, president of the Wisconsin Technical College System. There are so many great things happening in our system. That's why I'm visiting all 16 colleges to celebrate our 300,000 students, our staff, faculty, and leadership teams for everything they do to make our campuses vibrant and innovative places to learn and grow. I can't wait to go back to college. The next stop on our tour of excellence is Fox Valley Technical College. With campuses in Appleton and Oshkosh and several regional locations, Fox Valley Tech serves over 50,000 students every year. Right now we have 60 law enforcement recruits here. 95% um, of them are already hired by agencies, so they'll graduate from the academy after four and a half months and they'll be working as police officers uh, when they leave here. I joined Associate Dean of Public Safety, Corey McCone, as he showed me around the Public Safety Center. This is River City. Uh, we, it's our, our, our scenario village. This was donated by FedEx. Yeah. Yeah. They landed at ATW, which is, ATW is right on the outside of uh -huh. it. Built in 2015, it's a 96,000 square foot facility on 80 acres located just south of the Appleton Airport. In addition to the airplane and other buildings the college uses for scenarios, the Public Safety Center houses jail services, fire and EMS, and forensic science. We're going to start with just our traditional smooth surface fingerprints, the types of prints that we see most often on our scenes. Holly Moss is a 2013 graduate of Fox Valley Tech and now serves as an adjunct instructor in addition to her job as a crime scene technician for Ashwaubenon Public Safety. When I got into the field, there wasn't anybody that was doing this full time as a civilian. So I didn't have a lot of people that I could look to for guidance mm -hmm. as a civilian. And um, so when I got hired, I became the first in the state and made it a goal of mine to become that person for everybody else coming up. In a fire, we want to stay back from our nozzle because if we have to flow water in a building, we want to be able to move it around. Today is also Women in Public Safety Day at Fox Valley Tech, giving high school students and myself the opportunity to learn from instructors like Shannon Young. Good job. As you kick your shoes off, you're going to put this on, on okay. your head and leave it up and then you'll step into the boots and then grab the top of the pants to pull them up and then go over your shoulders with the suspenders. We will then put your jacket on. You don't get this help though, do you? No, you don't get all this help. <laughs> okay, yep. got that? Yep. This is going to go on your face and you're going to tighten it to the point where it feels slightly uncomfortable. Okay. Because as you move and sweat and move around, it loosens up and you don't want it to lose air. Okay. okay. So this will go back over and there's pull the strap straight back on each side. So like mm -hmm. here, here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn your, your air pack on for you. Okay. And then we're going to hook you up to breathing air. So I'm going to hook this up for you and I'll give you these gloves because you'll be able to put these on. Mm -hmm. And once I hook this up, you just have to breathe in and it'll open the valve in here. Okay. Ready? Yep. Just go ahead. Breathe in. I was one of the first uh, female firefighters in Appleton back in the uh, eight in the 1980s, back in the 1900s, um, and uh, we only had a few in our class at the time. And um, over the years, I've been an advocate for, you know, women can do this job. It's total body, it's, it's um, teamwork, it's positive attitude, it's good learning attitude, being trainable, being coachable. By capturing young women early and sparking an interest in them, it gets them on the path for education, athletics, community service, and it draws their interest to a profession that's giving to their community. The fire crew at Fox Valley had one more surprise for me. Today, you're gonna to be operating a 2018 uh, Pierce Quantum Cab truck. It's 11 feet tall, 36 feet long, and weighs 49,000 pounds. So we're gonna do this with a little bit of care and a little bit of caution, Absolutely. but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hop in. Sit down and then push and hold the start button. Terrific. Okay, go ahead and turn. Perfect. Look at that. Wonderful. You didn't drop a tire off the roadway. Stay to the left just a little bit. Stay to the left just a little bit. All right. Proceed to the stop sign. Okay, now cover your brake pedal and depress slowly. 
So air brakes can be a little bit tricky because they'll grip pretty fast. Remember, you're stopping nearly 24 tons here, so these brakes are, are ready to grab. It's, um, you know, surprisingly great because you've got such great visibility up here. Um, it does, you have to remind yourself though that you can't slow down as fast as you think. I'm driving pretty Conservatively? slowly. Yep. So come out just a little bit to your left, so you don't want to drag your tire. Okay, good. And then come um, out. Yep. Would you Would you but, like me to take you around at our speed? Well, I'd like to know how fast you. I'm, I'm just looking here. I'm so I'm going 15, 20 miles an hour. What are you guys yep. trying to speed you? For a uh, area much like this, that is the appropriate speed for an apparatus this large. Okay, but if you had to get to a fire that people were inside, would you go faster? Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. <laughs>